Hey what's up guys welcome to NCX Tech and recently I got this old 2011 model Sony Vio laptop from a second hand market for around $80 and specs wise this laptop's got the second generation Intel Core i5 CPU with 4GB of RAM and a 500 GB of hard disk which is not in the working condition so that I decided to replace the hard drive with a cheap 256 GB NATIC SSD. Also I found another issue with the laptop that the touchpad clicks were not working and it's not going to be a big problem for me since I'm going to use an external USB mouse. On the left side of the laptop there we have two audio ports and a USB 2.0 port and air vents, SEMI, PZA, Ethernet, charging port and at this side we have nothing and at the right side there we have optical drive and three USB ports and at the front side there we have this wireless switch and a SD card slot and this old machine does not support UEFI mode so it has only legacy BIOS support and first I installed Windows 10 on this laptop but I had to face some issues since this laptop is not officially supported by Windows 10 so I had to face some driver issues and also I was not satisfied with its performance so I decided to install a Linux distribution in it keeping Windows 10 as well as a dual boot system and instead of installing some lightweight minimal Linux distro I decided to install a complete and a beautiful Linux distro Sholos. And for its installation from disk management I created some free space by deleting some unnecessary partitions And to make a bootable USB, I use Paintoy. So it is an open source tool to create bootable USB drive. And it's so easy to use. You just need to install this on a USB drive. And just copy and paste the ISO file in the USB drive. And it can be used for both legacy and UEFI. Secure boot also supported. And from the Solus official website, I downloaded Solus ISO. So there we have different flavors of Solus. Solus Budgie with the Buzzy desktop environment and Solus Gnome. Solus Mate and Solus Plasma with KDE Plasma desktop environment but I decided to download Solus Buzzy ISO and after having Paintoy installed in the USB drive I just copied the Solus ISO in it and the bootable USB drive is ready another thing that I wanted to mention here is that every time I press F2 to enter into BIOS, I was not able to enter into BIOS setting, instead it always loads Windows 10 and for its solution I had to disable Windows fast startup and this problem was solved. And then from the BIOS setting, I set the USB drive as the first priority boot device. And as I booted my computer from the USB drive. I got this Bento boot menu and there from the Solus and this is the Solus Buzzy desktop. So in order to install this operating system, there we have an installer file, install OS, choose the language, location, keyboard layout and my time zone. 
and I selected the manual method for the installation. So first we have to choose the disk and then I chose the second option to set up everything manually and next so from there I came to know that we can create any partition for the installation so I had to again install another program gparted to create partitions so from gparted from the unused space I created a new partition of size around 55 GB for the installation apply all operations apply and again I came back to the installer but there we have no refresh options so I had to again restart the installer and again the same steps and I assigned the partition that I had created as a root partition and then next and select the SSD drive to install the bootloader and then the computer name and now time to set username real name password so here's a review option before installation install ok and now the installation process started installation completed so that I need to restart my computer and then remove the USB drive so now we have a boot menu whether we want to boot into Solus or Windows 10 so first I'm going to try out Solus login password so here's our Solus desktop just to check whether I can boot into Windows or not let me restart again and select Windows 10 now this is going to load into Windows and it seems everything is fine everything working properly so this means we don't have any issue with dual boot I tried Solus for some time and with the first impressions I can say that Solus feels so modern beautiful lighter and smoother than Windows 10 opening apps browsing the internet feel so faster and also all the useful apps and softwares are available out of the box multimedia apps audio video players image viewer internet browsers system monitor disk managers are available here LibreOffice is available as an office suite Solus default package manager is EOPKZ. Using this package manager, we can download and install required apps and packages. I installed AsDrop and NeoFace using this. And it shows that idle RAM usage is around 650 MB on a fresh boot, which is much more less than what Windows 10 requires, and CPU usage is also relatively very low. It uses newer Linux kernel 5.15, which is a very good thing.
Installing apps and softwares is very quick and easy using the default GUI software store. All the necessary apps are available there and they are arranged in different categories. I installed VLC and Google Chrome from software store. It was so easy and user friendly. Using Solus driver management, we can install required additional proprietary drivers. Though I did not test gaming on it, but I tried some image editing stops like GIMP and I found no issues in that level. And I can play full HD videos very smoothly. Using Buzzy Control Center and Buzzy Desktop Settings, we can perform desktop tweaking and customization to an extended level. Overall, using Solus in this machine did not make me feel like this laptop is 11 years old. Everything is handled so easily. Desktop is much more lighter, beautiful, modern, and resource uses is much more less than Windows. Also, there are lots of things that I can do on the desktop customization. Availability of all the required basic needs out of the box and GUI software center makes this Linux distro a good choice for any Linux beginner as well. Using Solus on this older machine, I think I got much more than what I could get from Windows 10. So guys, this was for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please like this video and do subscribe this channel and press the bell icon for more Linux tutorial videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time.